Hey guys, DJ AJ101 here, and I'm back after a three or four day hiatus, something like that. Uh, sorry, I've been gone for a little while. Uh, I got work done, all the other good stuff, so I finally have some time today, Monday, to make a little bit of a video or some videos for you. I'll see how many I can get done. But anyways, we're going to start off with a video, uh, something brand new, just out of CES. Of course, CES is this weekend. It stands for the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Of course, it's the 2012 Consumer Electronics Show. A lot of big tech reviewers are down there. Uh, right now, I'm actually reading all their feeds and kind of getting all their info and all this other kind of stuff that they're reporting about. And one of the things that I finally found interesting coming out of CES today is, of course, the big announcement of Thunderbolt. For all of you that do not know, Apple has had its exclusive little finger around Thunderbolt for, I think, almost a year now. And there have been a very, very few limited, probably a handful of devices that have maybe come out uh, taking advantage of Thunderbolt port speed, that 10 gigabits per second consistently. Um, and now we're finally getting to see some more devices coming out of CES from PC manufacturers as well including the Thunderbolt, and you guys can see right here from my display, and I'm talking way too much. Uh, Thunderbolt device is coming to OCC, Lacey, Belkin, Elgato, and even more PC vendors from Acer and Levino. And of course, as you guys can see right here, they have a dock, a Belkin a Thunderbolt Express dock, which has um, a few USB 2.0 ports, a uh, FireWire 800 port, as well as a Thunderbolt port, so you can connect uh, whatever you want, you know, a display or a hard disk. And of course, it has um, gigabit Ethernet and a few other things as well. Um, one of the biggest things, I guess, for this is if you have a laptop, and I think this is actually nice because they've had a few of these out already, uh, and this is just another one that they're announcing at CES. It's a little pricey. I think it's like 300 bucks, which is kind of, eh, you know, really kind of, you know, especially for a dock that you basically hook up to your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro, and um, boom, you can connect to, you know, do another display. You can do a, an external drive. You can connect all these little peripherals to it, which is pretty nice, but again, $300, I think it's kind of high for the price point, so we'll have to see how that sells. But that's just one of the things they're coming out with. And one other thing that they're coming out with, as you guys can see right here, it's the Elgato Thunderbolt SSD, which is actually a pocket SSD drive. And you guys, for a while, know that I've had a, um, I think it's a Western Digital Pocket Drive. It's a 7200 RPM. It's powered by USB 2.0 and um, FireWare 800. And I basically use that every time I need to back up my computers or do a time machine or transfer data back and forth in large quantities. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. But now they're finally announcing pocket drives, pocket drives that are SSDs and have Thunderbolt on them. Very cool to take advantage of that Thunderbolt speed. Uh, it says right here that they're announcing capacities on 128 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte, 512 gigabyte, and one terabyte flavors. I don't know if those are all going to be SSD or not. It would be pretty cool to see a one terabyte SSD. Only thing I can imagine that is mucho expensive. So, but uh, they're saying up to 750 megabytes sustained read and write speeds, which is crazy. I think that's incredibly fast, especially through that Thunderbolt port. So we're going to have to see about that. Uh, I haven't seen any uh, specific time frame for release yet or pricing. So if you guys have uh, any of that information, please feel free to leave it below. Uh, like I said, I just saw this article and I thought I'd share it with you guys. And uh, of course, this drive looks really cool. I've been looking for a faster pocket drive and maybe even consider getting one of these uh, to definitely do backups and or just store you know external you know, stuff on devices, which would be quite neat to actually get some speed out of it for once. I know FireWire 800 is quite fast at 800 megabits, but when you consider it to be compared to Thunderbolt, which is 10 gigabits per second, um, you obviously know which one's going to blow which one out of the water there. So, and especially with 750 megabits sustained read and write on the drive itself through SSD, fast, that's the future we're going to. So that'd probably be the way that we want to start going. Anyways, and also, Lacey has also announced some more accessories. Uh, I think just like they did last year at CES, I think when Thunderbolt was first starting to come out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think that's when it was first started. I can't remember exactly, but apparently they have um, some new Thunderbolt drives as well, which is awesome. Uh, there have been in very, very limited quantities and um, very, very few vendors that have actually had Thunderbolt support for their drives, especially hard disk drives in large capacities and large volume. And we've also seen you know, uh, daisy chaining drives where you can actually daisy chain about three or four of these things together and get, you know, better speed at 7200 RPM per drive and, you know, all that good stuff. You get faster data speed when you get a RAID together pretty much in a daisy chain. Um, so that's cool. They're looking to come up with, um, I guess, some more drives like that. Don't know too much on them. And I guess the new Ivy Bridge uh, chip that's coming out from Intel as far as the processor wise is going to have native support for Thunderbolt, which is all cool. Uh, so the newer laptops. Uh, what we're getting into right now should also have support and also from Lavino they have announced uh, the Lavino ThinkPad Edge S430 
and of course it's got a built-in thunderbolt port so finally we're starting to see some pc vendors and manufacturers come out with the thunderbolt like i said i think apple's kind of had its little finger wrapped around it for so long and there really hasn't been any native support for thunderbolt finally now that we're starting to see some pc vendors come out with some thunderbolt support hopefully we'll actually see some more accessories because of course as you guys know and i did a video on this and i'll leave a I'll leave a link if i can find the video on my channel but for my Guardian Maximus uh, hard drive unboxing, the, basically the hard drive that mirrors, you know, has two drives in it and mirrors one drive to the other drive so your data is redundantly written and it's safe. Uh, that, of course, did not come with the Thunderbolt uh you know, port, which I was kind of disappointed about because, of course, I got it a few months back when Thunderbolt was, of course, still a little bit newer. Hopefully, it's starting to mature a little bit more. But that, of course, had the fastest speed of, um, uh, I think it's SATA, uh, 3 gigabit SATA. And of course, the plug and play that I use uh, for my DJing is, of course, uh, FireWire 800. It would have been cool to see a Thunderbolt port on that, but, you know, oh well, what are we going to do? I'd like to see some devices like that uh, come out as well from Other World Computing. Of course, that's where I got that one. And uh, to be able to see some devices like that, I think that more consumers can take advantage of, and especially more techie people like you and I, um, if you're watching this and you happen to be a tech person, I can take advantage of as well. I'd love to see that. More native support is always good, and especially because um, I think it was on MacBreak Weekly last week that Lee Laporte. I uh, was kind of talking about, you know, Thunderbolt, they kind of thought was a stalemate, it was kind of dead, you know, it was kind of like, well, there's no native support coming out, why should we even think about this thing, you know, being supported since USB 3 has definitely gotten a little bit more ground as far as support in the PC world, and Thunderbolt's kind of been an Apple exclusive, as I've said, and they really haven't done too much with it, and nor the vendors have really done too much with it to support Thunderbolt, but hopefully now that it's announced at CES that more of these devices are going to be coming out, hopefully more manufacturers will jump on board. And we'll be able to see some more devices. I'd love to see it. And, of course, faster data transfer rate, I think, is always going to be a good thing. I think it'll definitely help with the transition from a desktop world that we, you know, are currently trying to get out of to a more mobile world, kind of the laptop and the tablet world, and especially the laptop. So now you can use your laptop as a desktop replacement with these Thunderbolt accessories. You know, 10 gigabits per second is extremely fast. And I think if you can imagine a laptop having two of those on there, you basically don't even need a desktop anymore for your on-the-go mobile world. You know, if you're kind of like me and you're on the go, I, of course, have a Mac Pro and a MacBook Pro, but it re really would be cool to actually see a laptop become your total home solution, especially if you do a lot of work on the road and at home. Basically plug your MacBook or whatever kind of computer you have, Windows machine, uh, Thunderbolt, boom, you have a bigger display and you have all your peripherals, your external storage, all that good stuff connected via one cable. A lot of cluttered mess going at that point, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But what do you guys think? I know this is a lot of information I'm throwing on top of you and I know I've been talking incredibly fast. Hopefully you guys have uh, kind of sat through all the boring junk if it's been boring for you i apologize but um what do you guys think about this do you think that more manufacturers will really jump onto the thunderbolt bandwagon i think ces is probably a better place to do it than any other place because obviously it's the biggest you know electronics consumer convention show in the u.s and maybe even the world what do you guys think do you guys think that thunderbolt will be adopted do you think it's going to kind of be like fireware 800 where it's going to kind of be a maybe an apple eh, and not really much is going to come out of it but maybe some vendors will jump on and support it quite nicely or do you think it's just going to kind of go off into nowhere if now one really supports it as much as they would hope to support it at least as much as i would really like to support it i'm sure you guys would like to see it as well so if you guys would like to rate this video that would be awesome and if you'd like to subscribe as well to keep up on my channel and my reviews and my tech information feel free to do that as well it um support you know it's always great to see the support and of course it helps me out quite a bit but anyways guys this has been dj aj 101 here i will see you guys in my next video have a great one to you guys